Hello once again everyone. And welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. I just had to replay the last little bit where we were talking to the crane guy. Boy, that isn't too bad. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing pretty good right now. It's been a good day. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Hopefully, if you don't know that reference, that's an Aladdin yeah, reference. a try. Yes, I mean, I question it only due to the amount. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most badass of them all? Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel but have some respect for our history rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Nobody right very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. So he's a, like a... prototype thing that can show you segments of the world. It's pretty interesting. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. What else we got in this room? We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah, I remember. And him. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. Snore. I wonder what the story was. Right. Beauty and happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name.
Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Maybe. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. So yeah, um, most of the day I've been spent working on more of the this good school photo artwork for the book. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elfish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairau? I'll go look it up. Alelaira. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. It's a little disturbing. Sorry. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. If they're still together, that is. Oh yeah, he's getting to death. I've nearly finished doing the art. Um, got a couple more kids to add. Blah, 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 able, blah, 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. 
dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Do you slit his throat? What's he been doing? Or is he Where the is Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Yeah, we're gonna need to, to go there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Be quiet about it, Snow. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me. Hello. You there? Sorry about the car. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Big, big, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big, big, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know, I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Let's leave this place and get a move on, shall we? So, uh... Other than that, I finished watching the, the last two episodes in season four, which was incredibly Did interesting. Who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? I'm good to go. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's Lawrence's apartment. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. He'll have to. The frog or the prince? Ah. Bad choice. Just like, because they just discovered the location of where the blessing was at. Space I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Damn right I can.
He looks dead to me. Hey. Hey. All right. We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. It was JFK, was it? On the TV screen. But yeah, so there's like they go to Shanghai and. Brennan's Ares. Uh, the end of the second to last episode. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? Uh, mom, maybe? Not the old dad. shirt. They never really look peaceful, do they? I they certainly do. And then they... Sleeping pills. Went to, oh yeah, like I said. We went to these locations and found where the blessing was at. And blood on the blade. And then they poured Jack's blood into the them, which the yeah. reset everyone back to I don't know big water here. And Jack being back in two more. <laughs> Because Rex um, transfused Rex blood into his body, became him a mortal like Jack. Alright, at the end of the season, and it's just like. Bullet passed through the chair. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Super interesting. Strange. Hard edge of this pool, like something was here and got moved. Encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Like maybe what son of a I want more torture. What is that? It's stuck to the bed a little. My D 
dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh, what are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She... came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I... I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so I shot myself in the heart. I thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. At least, that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed that I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. Done what to her? I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. 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 I'm sorry, sir. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Georgie! Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait! I need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife.
Bigby, he has a gun. Hey! Stay here! No! Who is this big, bold one? Why does he have a gun? Was he intending to kill Lawrence again? Come on, blood. Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Up, Bippy. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? Not run? Explain yourself? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Well, it could be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Uh, uh, Tim, Temple D and Temple Dumb. Yeah, Tweety D and Tweety Dumb. Yeah. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Those ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Hopefully we'll find some claw. Do a bit of Sherlock. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. I swear we only broke the window, not the entire wall. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> Alright, 
son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? I'll try my best. <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big V. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Need no kind of false alarm. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ, are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. She's good. Just the... mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. I don't quite trust you, Todd. You're hiding something. Just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it. 
That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And to not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. <laughs> you were the... Uh... The new uh, Shake and Stevens album yet? New, no, god dear, yeah. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? You don't have spares? Separate key under the mat or something? In this neighborhood? Are you off your rocker? If it ain't chained to me billfold, the mungy rats will take it away as soon as they catch a starlit twinkle. Here. The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Hmm. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know what we to cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. Stop I'm lying, not bullshitting you, Toad. We'll see. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby, there wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think... Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding.
take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Yeah, That's not good at all. Coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We're merely repossessed what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. There's a knot here. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. With my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find it. Where to find this woodsman guy? Lead. Our only lead, really. But, put it that way. We got tweeted in to the dorm who wait for some guy. Panic in the parlor. Shoot him get. God. Lord. Let me. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. Yes, it's true. It feels like we're always a step behind. We'll catch up. Woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. Faith was in trouble. Afraid of someone. I need to find out who. Might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. 
We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, then go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. So even the pimp or the bluebeard character, who's rich and all that, he might be the guy who's employed to the the and the dumb. Because he seems like he was he used to be a gangster type character. Thanks I wish there was. <laughs> Awkward. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. It's nothing. I just. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. Savior. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door, like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. As you should. Things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Back being up to the Ruleth! Maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. I'll see you around, Snow. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful, please. I'll try my best. The same goes for you. I will. Do it give me control or is it gonna go to another cutting dialogue? Option Delio. I don't know! But it's about time I paused it. Daved, so I'm gonna end it. We'll pause it here. I'll see you guys next time when we find out about the woodsman. Peace out, Girl Scouts.